My name is Upmost, aka my brother's keeper. I'm underground, but I'm up at the ether. They call me Upmost, aka my brother's keeper. I'm a believer that the generation I be from was chosen to lead on a journey to free sons of the soil. I've been a poet, an MC for hey, for a very long time now. I think I decided I was gonna be an artist, maybe. 96 when I was still at high school. The journey has been quite an interesting one, you know. Um, I've been performing a lot in Harare and I think I started off as a rapper and discovered, rediscovered poetry later on. And the piece, Lost for Words, I think describes a, a point I had reached as, a, as, a, as an MC where I felt I had a lot to say but I couldn't say it. I, there was a lot of fear, you know. Even if I did say, a, a, like I'd spit a verse for my homies and they'd be like, yo, tight, but that'll get you into trouble. And that frustrated me a lot, you know, not being able to, to bring out my expression. So that's what inspired that piece, um, Lost for Words. The words I'm about to speak were stolen from my tongue. Now I'm spoken for by some deaf corporate soul with funds who distorts them all and sells them back to me in the form of some newspaper. So my own story becomes new data. I wanted to be a verbal artist because I've got love for speech, but money talks and I can't afford the pleasures of such luxuries. So I remain mum like others in the place I came from. Now tears have replaced the liberating words I gave up so should I remain dumb and just accept and open my mouth to recite new words in the form of slogans? Why should I rejoice a new voice if I don't own it? And why do I have this inner voice if I can't expose it in sound? If my soul is renounced, then I'm good as dead. If I didn't love the stone house, I would have fled. But I remain hidden in the dark corners where I can't be heard, teaching myself to speak until I get lost for words.